Whew. It's been a hard, I believe it's six weeks. as we deal with our Palestinian crisis. You know, I was a little girl when uh, growing up in Mississippi, our mother worked for the only Jewish family that I knew, the Weisses, Mr. and Mrs. Weiss. It's a little town, Eudora, Mississippi, Hernando, Mississippi. We're in the 60s and we're in we're in the most conservative state that didn't accept either blacks or Jews. I didn't know it, I was young. I know that my mother loved working for the Weisses, Mr. Weiss. Mrs. Weiss wasn't able to have kids. Mr. Weiss was a college professor not allowed to teach because back then uh, Jewish people couldn't teach at universities. Not in the South. And there was no space for him to teach at the black universities, or I think that's what my sister told me. But they saved us. That beautiful family taught us literature. He read Shakespeare, Romeo and Juliet on the front stoop to me one day. He brought my mother books. She was the help, but she wasn't the help. They bought a summer home and in one of the sundown towns, which they were all sundown towns in reality. They bought a summer place for Mrs. Weiss. Mr. Weiss, they would come and spend their summers. And my mother would work for them. They bought us gifts, clothes, I think my mother even had a fur, a couple of furs. Maybe Miss, Mrs. Wyeth didn't want them anymore. It was one of the happiest times of my childhood. I didn't know much about Jewish people back in the day. You know, when I, you know, you heard all kinds of things, same thing about black, black people, Africans that were brought here. We were told multiple things about ourselves and you couldn't check and we didn't know how to verify. So we just, told the stories. My mother said something to me once, God rest her soul. She said, Jewish people are as close to angels as they come. That was Mr. and Mrs. Weiss. The Ku Klux Klan burned a cross on their yard set it on fire. They didn't want Jews living in our town. And they left. Devastated my mother. They'd come back every summer. She would have regular work. He paid her some of the highest salaries for the help. But my mother was also a teacher. He knew how much she loved education how much she loved learning. He loved us. All those kids running around. He would just come by just to check on us. I can tell you one thing. I know that Mr. and Mrs. Weiss would not harm a flea. They did no harm. They saved us. I had caviar when I was a kid. They had the most elegant mannerisms. She was a quiet lady, small lady, you know, quiet and always so calm and so polite. She would touch our faces. She would look at us and she would, Mr. and Mrs. White, they saw us like regular people, like we were like them. And they were white. We, it was so, I never realized that we would, be, we would come to this. Those were the Jewish people I knew growing up. I 
just wanted to tell their story. I don't know where they are and what happened to Mr. and Mrs. Weiss. We went through some other traumas with them. They were amazing people. They were amazing people. They did no harm. They were brilliant. Wherever you are, Mr. and Mrs. Weiss, thank you so much. You gave us joy and hope when there was nothing but darkness. Food when we were hungry, toys that I'd never seen. I can remember that was the happiest time for our mother when, when she worked for the Weisses. I'm sorry that you had to leave our town the way you did. I just wish you had, I hope you had a great life. You were wonderful people. Thank you so much.